Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, we will draw a clean letter logo with the combination of two alphabets D and P in lowercase. Now let's start the design process in Inkscape. So first of all, go to view and select it to wide. Again, go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of the options are turned on. Now go to file and select the document properties. Select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width to 1280 and height to 720 pixels like this. Now this is our command bar and at the end you will see a small arrow. Left click on it and then click on align and distribute menu. Again click on this menu and select fill and stroke like this. Now select zoom to fit to page. Now select the pen tool and draw a vertical line while holding down the control key like this. Now decrease the height of the line to say 285 pixels like this. Now go to fill and stroke menu and in stroke style change the width of the line to say 3 pixels or you can say 4 pixels like this. Now right click duplicate this line and place it for further use. Now again select this line go to object and select transform in the transform go to rotate and select the angle to 30 pixels and in clockwise direction like this now select this line and click apply now right click duplicate it and flip it horizontally like this and place this line at the edge of this line for this turn on the snapping and turn on the snap to pass and nodes and from here turn on the rectangle corners like this and place this line at the corner of this line like this. Now select both of these lines, right click, duplicate it and drag it vertically downward while holding down the control key like this. Now change the colors of these dragged lines to this red color by clicking on this light red color while holding down the shift key on the keyboard like this. We will change the color so that we can differentiate between the main object and the reference lines. Now left click on this line and select edit paths by nodes tool again click on this line and press on this insert new nodes select this end node and press delete on the keyboard like this now select the pen tool and draw a horizontal line while holding down the control key up to this point like this and increase the stroke width of the line to say 4 pixels for have a better visual impact. Now select this line, right click, duplicate it and change its color to red by clicking on this red color while holding down the shift key on the keyboard and place it behind our main object like this and increase the dimensions by dragging this icon while holding down the control key like this. Now select this line, right click, duplicate it and change its color to black by clicking on this black color while holding down the shift key. Now select the edit paths by nodes tool and in the snap menu turn on the intersection snap like this and drag this point from this to this intersection point like this. Now we can delete this line by left clicking on this and pressing delete on the keyboard and again the bottom red line like this. Now select this line and this line right click duplicate it and drag it like here right click and select group now flip it vertically like this now select edit pass by nodes tool and select this line again select this one and again add a node in the center like this now select this bottom node and press delete on the keyboard now select both of these lines and place them at the corner of this line like this right click ungroup them delete the smaller line like this now select these black lines right click duplicate it again right click and group them and flip them horizontally and vertically like this and place this object at the corner of this red line now we cannot see the red line so right click select cut and select this red line and press delete on the keyboard now go to edit 
and select paste in place like this. Now select all of these parts and drag it like this. Select this one, right click and ungroup them. Now again select all of these parts and go to fill and stroke menu and set the stroke width to say 20 pixels like this. Now you can see these corners which are not looking good. So you have to select the round joints and round caps like this. Now this is our final logo and you can see its visual impact by changing different colors and gradients like this. Now if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel. And also suggest me in the comment section that how this design can be improved. And also tell me that whether you like it or not. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.